Hi, my name is Ashok. I am from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. This session is to understand various terms associated uh, with the currencies and their relationships like nominal exchange rate, real exchange rate, purchasing power, purchasing power of both the currencies. So both the currencies as in uh, base currency and price currency. Say for example, if I say one dollar is equal to one euro, this numerator currency is called price currency, also called quote currency. The denominator one is called as base currency. So purchasing power of both the currencies and price levels of uh, both the currencies. So this is what we are going to see all these terms and their relationship. So that's the purpose of this session. Fine. So let's create uh, an example. Let's uh, set the base case scenario and then from there we can learn. Say for example, if I say um, First of all, the formula for nominal exchange rate, nominal exchange rate is equal to inflation rate into, uh, into real exchange rate, real exchange rate. This is the formula, real exchange rate. So let's say for example, one dollar is one euro and the inflation rate in both the countries is zero percentage. So zero percentage inflation rate. So it is growing at zero percentage inflation. And even in Europe, it is growing at zero percentage. I mean, inflation is growing at zero percentage. So in that case, what will be the real exchange rate? So what is this real exchange rate? I will explain in a while now. So now because you know inflation is zero, I can say the next step is one by one into real exchange rate. So therefore real exchange rate is equal to real exchange rate is equal to one dollar for one euro so let's try to understand this term now one dollar for one euro what does this indicate what do you mean by real exchange rate so real exchange rate indicates the purchasing power okay so it indicates the purchasing power of the uh, purchasing power of one currency let's say base currency the purchasing power of base currency in terms in terms of the amount of goods so remember it is in terms of the amount of goods it is being compared with the amount of goods priced in in terms of the amount of goods priced in another currency that is price currency so that means what it indicates is for one euro what worth of goods i can buy in dollar so i can buy uh, one dollar worth of goods so this numerator indicates worth of goods or amount of goods Okay, amount of goods, one dollar worth amount of goods. So it indicates one dollar 
worth worth amount of goods okay so that's what real exchange is all about so it will tell you as per the base currency how much worth of goods i can buy as per the price currency okay so right now for 1 euro i can buy one dollar worth of goods so this is the base case example and there is no inflation rate between the two countries and the nominal exchange rate is also uh, you know one dollar for one euro that means i can exchange one dollar for one euro okay so now suppose the ex nominal exchange rate goes up okay so let's say the nominal exchange rate goes to so goes to two dollar so nominal exchange rate is going up now for one for one euro nominal exchange rate has gone up here so we know nominal and yeah one more thing nominal exchange rate has gone up and the inflation in us is let's say three percentage inflation and in europe let's say two percentage inflation so if this is the case what is the real exchange rate so we know nominal exchange rate is equal to inflation rate into real exchange rate real exchange rate so nominal is now two dollar for one euro is equal to inflation is three percentage in the us and in europe it is two percentage and uh, now we have to find out the real exchange rate real exchange rate so now when i calculate this real exchange rate will be real exchange rate will be two dollar by one euro into one plus two percentage divided by one plus three percentage so i have done just some algebra when i shift this to the left it goes to the numerator and this comes to the denominator okay so which when i calculate Yeah, so when I calculate it, it comes to 1.98 dollar for 1 euro. So this is the real exchange rate. So again, what is the interpretation? The interpretation is for 1, uh, so the purchasing power of euro is for 1 euro, I can buy one point nine eight dollar amount worth of goods amount worth of goods so what does that indicate so this indicates see so let's see what is the interpretation of all this so first of all nominal rate has gone up when nominal rate is going up in comparison to the base currency you see earlier it was one okay for one dollar one euro now the nominal rate has gone to two dollar for one euro so what does that indicate it indicates that i can exchange two dollars for one euro so for one euro i can get two dollars that means dollar is weakening so dollar is depreciating because i can that's why i can get more dollars and euro is that means appreciating euro is appreciating okay so when dollar is depreciating and euro is appreciating dollar is depreciating because there is higher inflation so that is one of the reason so dollar is depreciating because there is higher inflation in comparison to the counterpart that is euro okay so in europe two percentage and in dollar and in uh, us it is three percentage inflation so higher inflation is uh, depreciating the currency another one another reason is the demand you see this here initially i could buy for one euro one dollar worth of goods 
okay one dollar worth of goods now for one euro i'm able to buy 1.98 dollar worth of goods that means the purchasing power of euro has gone up so purchasing power has gone up for the euro so purchasing power has gone up for the euro and here the price level has come down that's why i'm able to get more okay the price level the price level for uh, for dollar has come down dollar is in price currency has come down okay it has come down fine so this is the interpretation the purchasing power has gone up for euro and the price level for uh, a dollar has come down okay and that's why i'm able to get more worth of goods for the same amount one euro okay fine now let me just uh, put all this like a table here so when the nominal rate went up from one dollar to two dollar real exchange rate also went up from so here went up from one to 1.98 so here it was from you know from one dollar one euro it went up to two dollar for one euro so that's why nominal rate is going up then for real exchange rate it was initially one dollar for one euro and it went to 1.98 dollar for one euro so that's why real exchange rate is also going up and what we have seen is the purchasing power the purchasing power of base currency the purchasing power of base currency has gone up it has gone up okay uh, the purchasing power of base currency has gone up why because initially for 1 euro i could buy 1.98 worth of uh, goods in dollar now sorry initially i could buy 1 dollar worth of goods now i am able to buy 1.98 dollar worth of goods for 1 euro okay initially i could buy uh, 1 dollar worth of goods for 1 euro now i could buy 1.98 dollar worth of goods for 1 euro so this shows the price level of price currency the price level of price currency has come down okay it has come down that's why initially i was getting only one dollar worth of goods for one euro now it has come down so that's why i'm able to get more because the price has come down why it has come down because it is not in demand it is not in demand and uh, that's why you know let's say the economy is not performing well it is not in demand and that's why i'm able to reap i'm able to get more worth of goods for the same one euro okay so let's say that's why the currency is also depreciating okay so this is the takeaway point now uh, so purchasing power of base currency is going up i can also say in other words that the purchasing power of uh, price currency has gone down in other words i can so i can write that the purchasing power of price currency has gone down okay because the purchasing power of base currency has gone up means purchasing power of price currency will go down similarly price level of price currency has gone down so price level of base currency 
will go up okay so these are the uh, no relationship between all these terms similarly if if the nominal rate would have gone down real exchange rate would have gone down purchasing power of the base currency would have gone down per, uh, price level of the uh, price currency would have gone up uh, purchasing power of price currency would have gone up and price level of base currency would have gone down so it is just the vice versa okay thank you